before you guys were born, there were these kind of games which didn't seem very spooky when you started playing it. But then what happened was it was a very simple game and then people started playing it more and more and more. And then they got so used to it being so simple. Uh, and usually it's a game that their friends sent them. Okay, so their friends would go, oh, play this game. It's a lot of fun or something like that. And then when you when you play that game, you think, oh, it's like catching a little ball or tapping a little door or something like that. But then after a while, it goes suddenly boom, like that. And then there's a big ghost that pops up on the screen or a very scary image pops up on the screen and a really big, loud noise. And then it scares the person because they were concentrating on catching the ball. But then they didn't expect like a big ghost to pop out in the middle. <laughs> okay, so, so that is uh, the kind of uh, game we're going to make today. So we're going to make a little bit of a spooky game. We're going to make them think that they are catching a ghost game. Okay. But then at the very end, when they least expect it, we're going to surprise them and, and scare them. So when they're playing the game, they're going to be like, oh, I'm going to try and catch this ghost, catch this ghost, catch this ghost. And then all of a sudden they'll be like, oh, where did the ghost go? And then it's going to go wham and go really, really loud and really scary and scare your mom or dad. That's cool. It's nice and scary. Okay, so now the ghost is teleporting uh, to a different place each time and it's making this little space ripple sound. Okay, um, but uh, the, the sound is a little bit too loud because what we want to do is we want to turn the sound right down okay we want to turn the sound right down so that um so that the parents can't hear that space ripple sound too loudly because in a, at the very end of the game we want to scare them with a really loud sound okay so we turn the sound right down when we are doing the space ripple sound but then at the very end, when we go boo like that, it's got to be really loud. Okay, we go stop it. And then we wait for another one second. Because why do we want to do this waiting? It's because we want to make sure that it's not really quick when we scare someone. When we scare someone, we have to make it so that uh, they don't expect it to come, okay? But when you make it so that oh, something happens every time they click, they're expecting, oh, when I click, something's gonna happen. When I click, something's gonna happen. But when you wait, what happens is the person's like, oh, I click something, but nothing's happening, right? But then you have a timer so that you're waiting. It's like, oh, we're not scaring you yet. Because then you're still like, oh, what's going on? What's going on? I'm trying to click this. And then you go boom, like that, okay? And then you scare them, sorry? I know how to change the size. How do you change the size, Yolanda? Um, it's on looks, and if you scroll down, yep. it should be like a bit. Oh. Should be next step drop. Oh, fantastic! Thanks very much for that. Yeah, I was looking for that. So it's set size to one hundred percent is where what we're looking for. Thanks very much for that, Yolanda. Uh, well done. Oh, thank goodness we have Yolanda on the on the street. Okay, so. When we we set we in the middle and then we set size to three hundred percent. It's going to be huge. Set size to three hundred percent, and then we also make it say boo. So say boo for two seconds. Okay. So now let's try it. We press the flag to start the game. And then we tap on it 10 times. Where did it go? Nine. Where is it now? 10. Now. Wow. Ah! So it scares you at the very end and it goes, um, uh, and it says boo. 